Hi, I'm Tony, designer and co-founder of Rux. I wanna tell you a little bit about Rux. I wanna run you through it piece by piece and then give you a couple tips on how to get the most out of it. So the lid can come on and off and is we call it weatherproof. You obviously can't throw it into the water, but no water will actually go into a Rux in a rainstorm. The beauty of the lid coming right off is that you can actually fold it up and tuck it out of the way if you don't need it. If you're just using this more as a sort of tote, just throw your stuff in. And you can also use this for other things like sitting on, if you're out camping or at the crag rock climbing, or stand on it if you're changing into your wetsuit at the beach or things like that. For added security over the lid, you can do up the compression straps which there's two compression straps. They just come over the top and then go right to the bottom. Once you've done those up, your lid can only open to here, but if you have a half full rucks, you can also use them to squish it down. And then you pull on those like that. And then your rucks can actually just take up as much volume as it needs, which is really handy in say a van or a vehicle type application. Another unique feature of rucks is the straps. Each rucks comes with two straps. These are attached to the rucks via the utility rails. There's a buckle that just quickly can be taken out or put back in almost anywhere around the perimeter of the rucks. Depending on what you have in your rucks, you can carry it in a bunch of different ways. Right now, this is set up as a sort of a backpack rucks like that with the straps going from end to end. You can also use it with one shoulder strap sort of over the shoulder like that. If you have it open, if you're not even using the lid, this is a nice way to carry it. You can just throw stuff in quickly go. If you don't want to take the strap off, but you need it out of the way, then you can always just sort of tighten it around the end like that. And then that kind of cleans your rucks up. And it also has these two handles on the ends for the quickest and easiest of carries. The straps are just long enough that as an added security measure, you can also cross them over the top in conjunction with the compression straps. It makes for a very secure close. The corner stays want to be upright, but occasionally if you tap the corner and it collapses like that, and you don't want to open your entire rucks up to get it to be straight again, you can just pull down on the corner and sort of push with your hand on the bottom and it actually pops it back into place. At Rux, we offer a lifetime guarantee, but like anything, it could use a little bit of maintenance every once in a while. A couple tips around that. If you're gonna leave the Rux compressed for an extended period, say months, we suggest you take the stays out. They are made of spring steel, but eventually they may not want to pop back up. We also recommend that if you're using it around salt water, on the beach, sort of marine type environments that you rinse it out with fresh water just to keep the salt and sand from deteriorating the bonds and parts of the rocks. Another tip is that this QR code that comes with every single rock links your rocks both for registering the product. It also offers a variety of different ways you can make lists to remember what you've stored in your rocks or if you want to make a list for what you want to put in your rocks if you're going on a camping trip or something. So that was a quick tour of the Rock 70 and some of the features and a few quick pro tips on how to get the most out of your Rock. We invite you to keep exploring. It's a modular system, so I'm sure you can find unique and interesting ways to make it work for you. And we'd love to hear about that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Watch our other videos for more information about Rocks.